you want to play Blob Lobber? Well, you came to the right place. Hello? Hello. It's a Squidman. The Blob Lobber is the kitchen sink, the jack of all trades. Four bubbles in one shot. It has slow projectiles compared to other weapons, but they stay in play for a while. The Blob is good at pushing objective and has a relatively low skill ceiling, so I recommend it, even if you are a complete beginner. When playing the Blob Lobber, you should think about three things. Your ink, your predictions, and your range. Number one, your ink. The Blob Lobber will help you control mid and maintain good map control since it allows you to ink very, very well. So don't you worry about missing. For ink, it's quantity over quality. You cannot miss if you are aiming at the entire stage. Stay alive and focus on keeping the middle of the map your color. It will make the match much easier for you and your teammates. You know, you may get a random accent splat in the entire process. Number two, your predictions. Predict where you think Cephalopods will go and lob your blob in that direction. For kills, keep your controller steady and it will ensure that all the blobs from the blob lobber follow the same path to get the splat you desire. The blob is the only weapon that has ink bouncing off of walls and the floor so you can show off your math skills or your luck to hit people behind corners. During the times you're aiming skyward, think of it more like throwing bombs when you aim. If someone rushes you and you're playing the blob lobber, I recommend jumping back back and aiming downward for an immediate bounce to help you get the desired flat. Number three, your range. Finally, finally, you need to think about your range. You ain't no E-leader nor Hydra. So please, 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 please don't stand in their way. But you also ain't no sploot. So don't go hunting down everything that moves. Instead, try to find a position above and out of range of your opponent so you can comfortably blob your lungs. If you remember to range properly, predict the enemy movements, and ink as much as possible, then you've mastered the power to subscribe. <laughs> I mean, you've mastered the power of the blob lobber.